Hi, my name is Leander Facchinetti, and in this video I want to share with you a Reaper action I developed that is for the current scenario. You have a video track or a video file and you have recorded this video file so that there are multiple audio tracks in the file. Alternatively, there may be multiple video tracks in the file, but that's more uncommon. What I had when I recorded this file was in OBS a track that was this, the audio from my microphone and another track that was the audio from my computer. They ended up in different tracks, not multiple channels. It's not like this is a stereo track here and or maybe a quadraphonic track with two channels being my microphone and two channels being my computer. No, these are different tracks in the container. You can see that, for instance, here in VLC, I can check that in the video, there is only one video track there could be multiple, my action would handle that. But uh, in the audio tracks, there are multiple. The first is my microphone, the first is the sound from my computer. But when I drop this file in Reaper to edit, I can only have access to the first video track and the first audio track. I cannot get a hold of the audio from my microphone. And until I developed this action that I'm showing in this video, you would have to pre-process this file to explode it into multiple files with one, with one track per file. And then you would load all those files in Reaper. Well, what my action does is to explode this multi-stream, multi-track media file into new one stream or one track media files. So all you have to do is select this media item or multiple media items and run the action and then you end up with a bunch of children tracks with children uh, media items. And they are the video track, this first one, you don't see any waveforms, and then two audio tracks. And now I can work with these audio tracks independently. I can mute, I can put different effects on them and so forth. So this is a, an action that I developed that just explodes the original file into its components. I could even call, if I needed, the explode multi channel, and this one comes with Reaper, there is no extra thing for you to install. This will explode the multi channel audio, so the stereo audio, into new one channel items. So now you can see how the original file had multiple streams, and my action is able to explode those streams. And then Reaper already comes with actions to explode the multiple channels in a stream. So that's super useful when you're editing video, particularly with multiple audio streams. And then here in the directory with the project, you can just see all the files that were created, the WAV files with the audio streams and an MP4 with the video streams. If you're interested in getting this action to work on your Reaper installation, all you'll have to do is follow the link in the description below, because in this link, uh, you'll find instructions on how to install Repack and how to install my repository with all my Reaper actions. And that's it, that's the installation procedure. You just install my Repack repository and it includes everything you need to do this explosion of media items. So I hope you find this helpful. I hope you develop some cool videos and tutorials and whatnot using this action and explode your media items away. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to the channel and supporting me on Patreon and PayPal. I hope you find this useful. In, if you want to know how the action works, I actually developed this action live in live streams. So from beginning to end, you're going to see me working. I kept nothing from you. I just developed the whole thing live. I hope you find this useful. I see you on the next one. Bye.